There we go. Andrew? Hey. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Sorry for technical difficulties. I'm a derp. That's, uh, that's pretty much how that goes. Anyway, how are you today, Andrew? Pretty good. How about yourself? I'm sick. So. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to have to bear with me today. If I start losing my voice or a cough in everybody's ears, I apologize. But. The show must go on. Indeed. So once yeah. uh once again it I mean we're what's in the world uh and we're gonna tell you guys uh a little bit for a while uh about the cool things that have happened both well, this month and this week in gaming and technology and kind of our thoughts and opinions on things and then we're gonna bring in um a couple of guests and let them talk on the subjects and uh talk about their own projects. So, uh, um, that song that I played, uh, was done by one of our very own, uh, in Rise of Gaming, uh, Raiden Beats. Um, and if oh, you guys, the link in chat. yeah, if you guys want to check out, uh, more of his music, um, something maybe a little longer than 27 seconds, that's the link. You can follow that. Um, also I'm pretty sure he has a Twitter, so you can follow him Indeed. there too. Um. So, first things first, <laughs> um, me and Andrew have been looking a lot of, uh, you know, we talked about last week that the PlayStation 4 came out and they previewed a lot of really interesting games, a lot of uh, city views from Watch Dogs to, um, I mean, pretty much any generation of video game where you have uh, detailed graphics of an inner city. Uh, we were looking at them a little bit and we're kind of wondering... Where does everybody think, like, graphics of, of real-life places and, and things like that are going to go from here? Because it's really impressive, don't, don't you think, Andrew? Yes, definitely. I mean, compared to, uh, I guess, well, really, just thinking about it, we went from 2D to 3D, so obviously just being that, that we have a lot better graphics, but now even better with more detail. So it, it's, it's a little crazy. I'm, I'm actually... I like uh I know my father particularly he likes playing simulation games and by god like if you if you I don't know if you integrated and took the time in a simulation game to to use the kind of graphics you use for games like Watch Dogs and, and stuff like that I mean you you really feel like you're really doing the real thing it's it's kind of yeah. it's kind of unreal right the yeah and I mean I well, I I saw an article the other day it was like uh, if you think that game isn't good just because it has uh, bad graphics, it's not always true. Something like that. <laughs> absolutely. You know I mean. uh, yeah, absolutely. Like, uh, I mean, we used this alone, but uh, the game that you plugged last week, what was it? Uh, Thomas Was Alone? Is that the name of it? Yep. Uh, yes. I mean, gra graphically-wise, you're playing with blocks and, and stuff like right. that, but it's, it's one of the funnier games you've ever played. I mean, if you right. look at but it, then again, like, you play games that are just so aesthetically pleasing. It, I mean... Right, and I think the reason uh, what I was trying to get at is even though you don't need gr good graphics for a good game, the major thing is uh, I think it's, it adds to the immersive effects by having a very detailed world we play in. Yeah. It's pretty... It's pretty, it's pretty interesting. I... I definitely can't wait till like they they put more time and effort into yeah. uh, the games with both awesome plot, so that, that we can have like the best of both worlds. Definitely. <sighs> and I mean, with uh, something like uh, if if you've heard of it, the Oculus Rift, uh, the better the graphics, the more realistic it, uh, the gameplay, since mm -hmm. it's a uh, virtual virtual reality. I always liked, did you ever go, I don't know, like, here where I live, like, they have, uh, like, 
uh, virtual reality like uh, game places you can like go to and you put all the, the head- where you go like this and yeah that. but like yeah, yeah. they they're actually getting like way cooler like I did one uh, I think like last year where like I mean it was a shooter you went around and you shot people and like you these people were it was like motion capture and everything it was really impressive. I'm like I want I want that in my house. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, see, I actually I haven't uh, seen one of those uh, recently. It's probably been a, a year or two. I haven't really seen any, but I've never really been going around places that would have one. But it's uh, de- definitely devices like those are really cool, and and that's why the Oculus Rift is so interesting because it's a portable device. It's not uh, how yeah, that thing is so huge. Except it is uh, it's controller based, not uh, motion based. Yeah. Uh, actually, it is motion based. I forget. I forgot that. It's it's really awesome because you can be like looking to the right, you, you don't not even touching your controller, and you look to the right. If you look up, it, and it feels like you're, at least from what uh, they were talking about in the video, it's like it feels like you're actually moving and looking around in the game. That's weird. That's strange. I don't know, but also kind of really cool. Like I can't yeah. wait for stuff like that. Um. One of the other cool things that we uh, saw and were reading about was uh, the game Wildstar. Do you want to talk about that? Oh, yeah, definitely. So uh, you actually want to play the video first? Sure. Yeah, let's let's see if I can bring it up. First. Uh, hold on. Will I get everything set up? Can I even make this full screen? Oh, totally can. Okay, there we go. to tell you about the exiles. You see, normally they don't let me do this kind of thing on account of my mouth running where it ain't supposed to, and I'm just so excited! I think I might wet my britches. Uh-oh. Okay, y'all know about the Dominion, right? Well, them bastards like to cause trouble. If they ain't starting a war on your planet, then they're probably blockading it with their starships or ravaging it with their freaking machines. Anyway, since a bunch of us got run off our home worlds, we figured it'd be a good idea to join forces, and that's how the Exiles came to be. The end. Huh? You want me to keep going? Okay. You asked for it. Let me tell you about us. Humans, that is. We are stubborn folk. Ain't the kind to back down from a fight. And no, we ain't in bread. Most of us, anyway. <laughs> then there's the Orin. You might call them scrappy. Protectors of nature and the like. They also got these big furry ears and <laughs> tails. Some people are into that. Yeah, I know. Weird. These folks here? Well, um, it might be best if we just don't talk about them. Finally, we got the Grattock. They're big, tough, giant rock people. I mean, they are bad ass. Of course, most of them got more boulders and brains. Yep, that means just what it sounds like. I'm sure you know about the planet Nexus. Well, one of us exiles found it. And now we're all heading there to make it our new home. Trouble is, the Dominion showed up and they're trying to take it from us. You know what I say? Those stiff-necked, meat-bending bastards want to fight? Then bring it on! Oops, you okay? I think that went pretty well. Right? Right? I think it definitely did went well. Yes. <laughs> I love I love it. Uh I can't I actually like it reminds me so much of Firefly. Uh where she like that actually character reminds me a lot of Kaylee from Firefly. So I guess that's why I identify with it so much. It actually looks really cool. Yeah, it really does, and uh, from what I've read, uh, it's, it seems really interesting because uh, they'll have, I, I don't know much about the game, but from what I read about PvP, they'll have kind of like something called war plots, where you can uh, build battlefields, and uh, you can build, invest, and show their dominance over others, so that sounds like it would be really cool for a PvP player, 
And it does say they will have player housing, which I really like for some reason. It's just, it's really cool to be, uh, I like being social in, in games, so player housing is always a good thing. I, yeah, um, I, you know, and I always expect something out of an MMO, what I, uh, because, like, I don't know, like, especially, like, games like World of Warcraft, where, like, they kind of dumb down the early levels for you so that it's really easy to level. This game says, we're not doing that. It's going to be hard. It's supposed to be hard. Uh, right. And and the end game is going to be even harder. And, you know, it's not supposed to be something that, you know, we're going to have a guild beat in, like, one day. Um, so, and, and they just recently announced that they are going to be there. There's going to be playable de- demos at PAX East. So, and that's, that's in like, what, two weeks? About so. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's exciting for those who are going to Boston and uh, going to do, check Definitely. that out. Like, I, I wish I was going. I can't afford to, but, you know. Uh, I, I wish the same, but, oh, well. Uh, I'm sure we'll get to see tons of goodies uh, from other people. I can't wait. If if any of if anyone is going to that uh, and you get to play it, please you know send us feedback. I'd love to hear about it because it it looks like my type of game. Um, I don't know what they're going. Is it going to be free to play? Do you know or? You I, know, I I'm not sure, but I feel like I have heard it is free to play because I mean, I think it's by NCSoft, isn't mm-hmm. it? Is it going to be a, a hosted by NCSoft? Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, they just recently made Aeon free-to-play, and Guild Wars 2 is buy-to-play, so it's probably going to be either uh, buy-to-play or free-to-play. I don't think they'll make it free to, uh, pay-to-play. I hope not. Hope uh, not. Well, while we're on that subject, we can go to our next item. Well, we were talking about it last week. We can bring it back up lightly. Um, right. Um, so uh, there was another article that we found about... Uh, well, before the article was just talking about Final Fantasy Reboot, but now uh, this is talking about free-to-play, or fan, Final Fantasy going free-to-play. And it's talking about, you, you know, how it would be a good idea, and I'll post it in the chat. But Square Enix might possibly think that they're above the free-to-play model, which I don't I don't think anyone is above the free-to-play model. In fact, it's very... Uh, beneficial for a lot of people to go free to play especially i think due to the fact that they had to reboot the whole series i I see why they would want to start it pay to play but i wonder how long they could keep it up as pay to play the the point they make in this article is that even if they let's say it flopped like it did last time um and you know they go they go pay to play and like and they only get i mean they don't get the the players they actually need to consistently play after that first free month, um, what happens? Do they scrap it all together? Because that's what I would... I mean, they've invested like the time and effort to revamp an ent- the whole game um, and the manpower and all that. And, I mean, they've even already set up an expansion that's supposed to be coming out for it that soon thereafter it releases again. Right. Do, do, we, do they switch over to go oh, well, actually, now it's free to play, and then they have to switch their efforts into figuring out what that means. Like uh, like they did with Star Wars The Old Republic. I mean, it took them months before they were like, after they figured out, hey, this pay, pay-to-play thing's not working. Um, it took them and, months and before they... That goes for them. <laughs> yeah, it took them months before they figured out, oh, well, we'll do this. You can pay if you want to, then you can pay, you know, then or you could be free to play, but you only get two characters with limited you know, availability to things. Um, yeah, that's another I, thing about uh, Final Fantasy, both 11 and 14, uh, you, you only get one, well, I mean, really, you only need one character because you can play all the classes on one character, but if you wanted to play another character, which, I mean, that right there it shows they actually have potential for buying character slots, you know? They can make it a little more expensive than just $1 a month. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, speaking of that, it's like it's funny because Final Fantasy XI is still going, and they're going to be getting a new expansion soon. I think it's called like Secrets of Alduin or something like that, so, and that's still pay to play. So maybe they will say pay to play because it seems to be working for Final Fantasy XI that they'd be making an expansion for that. Is but it though? Like that's the question. Is I mean like who? Who's I mean, and, th- and that was the other kind of like. Uh, mark that they put in that article is that 
they aren't really gearing these games towards gamers, and that's their problem. They're gaming. Right. The, they're they're totally marketing these towards Final Fantasy fans, um, right. and, and that's why the playability of their most recent games are not doing as well as they used to do. And I don't know what that means for this re-release of this MMO. I mean, uh, the last time I played uh, Final Fantasy XI, it just they really. I guess the fact that, like you said, uh, they they're gearing it towards uh, the Final Fantasy, just Final Fantasy people who play. It's, they made it so easy to level. It's I don't know how uh, wow it is, but it was ex- it's extremely easy to get to level. Uh, I think it's ninety nine now, and it was just kind of boring because basically before you uh, you could play uh, or before long ago. You had like all these camps. You had to, uh, you know, have a good a good team comp, and then you would just pull monsters to you. Now it's like I uh, went to this one area and I joined. A, now they have like big huge groups. I just walk around and hit monsters, just auto attacking. It's not as fun. It's like you barely even get to you. You'll have to use your skills because you have to level them up, but you don't have to to level up. It's just not fun. So hopefully. I mean, it's not fun for a new player. That's basically what I'm saying. It might be fun later on, but I never got far enough because it wasn't fun for a new player. To me, anyway. Uh, I mean, like, I don't know. It makes me want to try it. I mean, you're obviously going to try it for the free month. Yeah, I will. Um, What does, I mean, beyond that, I don't, I mean, without playing it, I guess, and seeing what all they changed and how everything's going to work out, I don't, I don't really know. I guess we'll have to wait. But, uh, I mean, further discussion, obviously, on this as things come to light about it. Um, But, yeah. Um, Did you want to talk about the next article? Or did you want Um, to skip it? (laughs) Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we can skip it. And uh, the only thing is, uh, the next two I know not much about, but you can go ahead with those. So, so. I'm going to go off on a rant for a minute, or maybe 15. Um, I was just I was just cruising around to see what games are going to come out recently or in the next you know couple of weeks. Obviously, some big ones uh, this month being March. Now we're going to see you know Bioshock come out. We're going to see Gears of War come out. Um, I mean. And, I mean, it's they're big enough games where I think they're worth talking about. I don't really want to talk about Bioshock yet, because it is one of my favorite game series of all. I probably will devote a whole ten minutes to that at some point. Uh, but <laughs> um, especially after I play it. Like, now that uh, I'm not going to IPL, I'm going to actually have that week to play Bioshock, so I'm pretty excited about it. Um, well, when is that coming? Is it coming out that weekend? Yeah, it's coming out the twenty sixth. So oh, okay. Um, it, it's it's uh big, it's big, and I can't wait. Uh, but I I do want to talk about the Gears of War Judgment. Um, and I'll just I mean I just want to kind of mention it. It's uh it's going to be a little bit different from the, the other games because it, it's definitely set in a pre war environment, and I don't really know how well it's received among hardcore fans. But I mean, you're still going to get that really rich plot. Um, your first person shooter. I mean, a lot of people who were were testing it and playing it really liked it, um, and they also liked the idea of like the extra maps and stuff like that. So, um, right. Gears of War people. I mean, if you wanna, uh, if you get it and you play it and you love it, you know, just tell us about it because, like, I, there's all these games that are coming out like this month, next month in you know summertime. I really want to get, but I don't have the money for all of those, and I certainly don't want to waste my time on a, a game that I don't like necessarily isn't going to be right. uh, what I want. But I cannot wait. Uh, I definitely will pick uh, Gears of War up. I'll probably definitely pick up. I'm definitely getting Bioshock. Uh, <laughs> um, so I, I mean, that's that's pretty much all I wanted to say about. Um, yeah. Oh, what else? Um, the next one, obviously, uh, they were talking about previous uh, last month was patch 5.2 for World of Warcraft, and I thought I would 
talk about it a little bit because there's a lot of information going on about it, and it looks kind of really awesome for those of us who uh, have played the game for quite a while. Uh, you get to see all of the troll clans come together and um, kind of be badass for <laughs> for <laughs> an entire uh, patch. So uh, I'm going to break down like the new raid um, a little bit and just give you my thoughts and opinions um, because I can't wait. Uh, I don't play World of Warcraft that much anymore, but this will definitely make it so that I I really want to. Uh, and I'm going to butcher all of these boss names. So, <laughs> 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 um, but okay, so you start. Off the the raid, obviously, you're awakening the Thunder King. Uh, he literally, literally calls forth the powers of Thunder uh, against his foes. Your first boss, you have uh, Hordron, with the is uh, uh, Jalax mount, and he's. If you've seen pictures of it, it's really cool. Hold on, I can probably post the blue post to you guys. Oh, I just clicked it, and there's nothing there. Well, I probably deleted it. Yeah, there it is. No, I'm talking about on the post itself. It's kind of weird. What are you talking about? Oh. Huh. Got deleted? I must have. Hmm. Anyway, I won't post it then. I have a video, <laughs> though, uh, for all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a if you click the blog post. Um oh, I'll link it. Oh god, they're doing the linky thing. Stop. Don't link your legendary weapons in chat. This is not trade chat. Uh and then you have the Council of the Elders, which as I says uh consists of the four mighty troll elders. Uh from the Amani, uh the Froki, the Dra Draki, uh, and the Grabashi clans. Um and you did defeat one of them in the bo in the uh in the vaults, but come back. I guess you're not actually gonna be defeating him, you're gonna be um fighting like his essence or whatever. So the way they phrased it, uh the blue poster really like um went into great detail about that. So um if I can ever find the blue post again, I will definitely have it have it up. Um uh third boss is literally a giant turtle um one of the blue posters posted on there um that they wanted to put that in firelands uh this this turtle boss um but opted out of it uh and instead they just gave you a big fire turtle um in their, their firelands so there's that um uh, I said in my notes it says literally a giant crystalline turtle so <laughs> um there, I don't Turtles know. Are awesome. I mean, Blizzard seems to re uh, reuse a lot of boss types. So that the next one is a uh, Hydra with a bunch of heads. Um, it it also looks kind of cool, interesting lore. Uh, the blue poster was try trying to talk about it just a little bit, but they uh, were trying to go for like um, more of a mythical feel for that boss. Uh, something along the lines of what maybe Hercules would battle. Um, that's what they specifically mentioned was a Hercules battle. So uh, mm -hmm. there's that. Um, the most important uh, is you actually do fight the Thunder King himself, or, well, Thunder Lord himself. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lai Shen, I guess that's probably how you pronounce it. Uh, yeah, he's des described as a tyrant and dictator. Uh, obviously uses thunder and lightning as a weapon. And uh, He's literally the power source for the whole uh, citadel that you fight in. So instead of, uh, they were talking about maybe making it so that he was like a battery and he had to recharge, but instead they decided that he is himself a battery and charges everything. So it's kind of interesting the way they built him up. But I cannot wait to get in there and play these. Like, it looks so awesome. I want to play this video for you guys because that's how awesome it is. Uh, if I can figure it out. Pause. Alright, I'll show you guys my screen.
So pretty epic. Yeah, looks pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, so now you can see why I'm so excited. Yeah, the mounts definitely look really cool. Had a little uh, Aztec feel, I think. Oh uh, yeah. Like I said, I haven't really uh, played WoW, well, so it's it's really a troll. Uh, it it's really a, it's really a troll theme. If you play the game enough, you'll you'll notice it. Um, but oh, they previewed two new mounts, and I'm like, oh, why not me? So <laughs> uh, I'm definitely girly when it comes to WoW. I'm like pets and mounts. That's what I want. So <laughs> uh, I kind of I kind of can't wait uh, for those to come out. And uh, yeah. So um. Yeah, that's it for that's all I have for World of Warcraft. Uh I could probably keep going, but nobody wants me to, so <laughs> I think it's time to introduce our guests anyway. Yeah. So, uh without further ado, shall we introduce a winning again? Uh huh. Is she there? Ooh, ooh. Give her a moment. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey. I'll just try to do something real quick. All right. Yay. So, uh, as we start with any anyone, who in the world are you? I'm a Winnie. That's who I am. No, really. Uh, my my first name's Whitney. Um, I played World of Warcraft for many many years and did League of Legends. I do just about everything, a little bit of everything. I'm here, there, and I'm everywhere. That's me. Cool. Uh, what what games do you typically play? Like, what's your favorite right now? Uh, that's tough. It's really, really <laughs> tough because I'm kind of waiting for several games. But of course, League of Legends. A lot of people on here know me through League of Legends. So I have to definitely say League of Legends is a big one. Um, sometimes I like getting on Guild Wars 2, sometimes Rift. Sometimes I just uh, I have to go back and I have to play Portal 1 and Portal 2 over and over again. So. <laughs> So kind of those, it, it really just depends. I jump around so much. It really just depends what I'm in the mood for. It's the way I so feel most of the time. Some of those games, or not just any game, any game in history of you, you've played, what's your favorite game? I have to go back to probably Diablo 2 and the expansion. I think I could, like when I was little, I could sit there and just do it over and over and over and over again, and it never got boring. Awesome. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, I'm losing my voice again. Sorry. No. <laughs> so, how long have you been a gamer? <laughs> <laughs> I can remember when I was about five or six living in the country Panama, and my parents, it was hard to get internet, but they managed to somehow get internet there. And we all played what was called The Realm. And it was one of the first like MMO RPG-type games. So I'm about five or six, and I remember sitting there and playing that. And then it was like EverQuest one and EverQuest two. My mom was a, uh, ended up being like a GM for that. Ooh. So since about five, six years old, I've always been gaming. But before that, I'd play like on the Nintendo or something. I'd play like Bubble Bobble things like that. So my parents are gamers. I'm a gamer. <laughs> um, that's that's really neat. Like I always like it when like uh, my because I ever tell everybody my brothers the whole reason I got into gaming. So it's like, always interesting. Like the family that like does plays games together. It always seems like you guys seem to be a little bit closer. Is that true with you two? No. No. <laughs> like caused more fights over who was going to who was going to be on the Nintendo or the PS2 or whatever. It probably caused more fights than anything. That's funny. Um. Uh, as you know, me and Andrew and also you, we're all in Rise Up Gaming. Um, so the next questions are probably going to be along those lines. Um, how do you stay so positive in a world uh, that is so negative, uh, Awinia? I kind of smile. I laugh. If people want to be rude and if you let something that's so virtual affect you so hard, it, it, I mean, you got to be honest. It affects us all to a degree, but it's how you handle it. And it's just, like, if it's in a League of Legends match, I'm like, okay, well, an average 40 minutes, I'll be done with this person. I'll just move on. And you just don't let them affect you. Cool. Just keep your head up. Smile. <laughs> Great advice. 
Have you ever had to deal with any of your real life friends being like toxic players? I stay at home and I game. What are real life friends? <laughs> no, um, as far as I know, nobody I really know is a toxic gamer. Um, sometimes I'll be playing with some friends and they'll have this sort of sour attitude or like they'll troll me and I'm like, dude, <laughs> like we're real life friends. Why? Because uh, where I go play Magic, a lot of people started playing or picked back up League of Legends because mm -hmm. uh, I'd go with my League of Legends shirts and things like that and just like it's a game. I and we're real life friends. I don't know why you do it. And if they do it, I just I just kind of don't play with them for a while. That's that's good advice. Solid advice. You're like, well, if you yeah. can't be positive, then peace out. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you? Oh, sorry. Ugh. How do you believe you personally impact the community in a positive way? Okay. But um. That was scary. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> how do I personally feel like I impact the community? I believe change starts with one person at a time. If one person can be positive and motivate their team and just act all around positive, like it's okay. It's okay that such and such happen in game. Just move on. Just recover from it. It can. It rolls downhill. It's like the snowball effect. Maybe in another game, I hope they will do that to somebody. And show them that there is positive and good people in the community and they can be one of those. Like, I don't know if I'm just like a complete dork, but I take pride in the fact that I have the honorable opponent badge. And I look at the number of votes that I have and it's like a hundred and something teamwork, 60 something, yada, yada. And I'm like, I take pride in that because I don't know. I must be just that dorky or nerdy or no. I don't know, but... I I had a heart attack the other day when mine went away because I played so many games without having an honorable opponent given, you know, like given to me. So my badge went away, and I was like, "Oh no!" Yeah. Well, it was <laughs> I was really funny, upset. They fixed that system. They fixed that system, and then ever since I've been working and a few other things happen, I haven't been on as much. And I come back, and somebody tells them they're like, "Oh, it's gone." I'm like, "Oh, sad face." And so I make like one post about it on Twitter. I'm like, "How do I have this X amount?" And it's gone. And literally, I don't play again. And by the, when the next time I log on, I have it. I don't know how that, that happened. But I guess it was just some glitch or something. And I don't know. Like, it, it's a very tough system. But I think when it first started, everybody was voting for people. So it, almost a lot of people got it. Right. And now they just kind of fixed it. And you'll get it back. I have faith in you, Gina. You're awesome. I want the teamwork one because it's, like, really hard to get. I want that, I want that one. <laughs> I want, like, all of them. I wish that you could have all of them displayed around the border. That would be pretty That's cool. I think I'd be more proud to have those than I would to have, like, a gold border. Like, look, I'm so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. It's like, forget my silver ranking. Let's look at all the badges I have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And don't forget that uh, the Santa Baron icon. That was uh, an interesting uh, time. Oh yeah, I, because I thought I wasn't gonna get it because I have, I've barely been playing uh, since they. I, I think they released the Honor System. And I was playing a little while, for a while, but I started playing less and less. So I almost thought because I didn't have the badge, I wouldn't get it. But I did well, end up getting it. So everybody, you remember, everybody got in that one initial thing, and I'm like. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. What do I do that's bad? What do I do that's particularly exactly. bad? So the whole thing's going by, and I'm like, well, I guess I've been a naughty Awinia. And <laughs> finally, I just so happened to look, and because I was just checking like every day, and I finally had, and I'm like, yay, I'm good. But I guess somehow, I'm, I'm, I guess I must have skimmed by there, and I'm just like, I have Earth. That's all I really wanted was Earth. <laughs> yep. Yep. Could have just been the way they, yeah. Uh put it out but just made people think that they weren't actually good people good players just like you better behave or you're not getting that santa baron icon yes Olivia. is there uh like me and andrew we play a lot of indie games a lot uh is there a game that you think everybody should play bastion Bastion. Yes. Everybody should play Bastion. Thanks. I absolutely love that game. I have the ringtones. I have the soundtrack. I have the artwork wow. for the game. 
which I got showed off. Well, they're the prints, but still, like no. I absolutely, Ooh. and it's signed. It's signed by the art director too. So, oh, I have it for the humble the bundle that was oh, that had it. Awesome. Awesome. So I gotta get frames for them. Official yeah. Jeff. But they're uh, signed by the art director. I love Bastion, so everybody should try it. Definitely. Awesome. Um, and on to a more serious subject. Uh, <laughs> uh, have you ever been bullied? I think about just everybody goes through some degree of bullying. Um, yeah, I've been bullied. It's it comes in various different shapes and forms and and how people go about it. There's physical and there's verbal. I think uh, I've always been more verbally bullied, but that's where a lot of uh, if people follow me on Twitter and things happen. I always have really sly remarks, and that's kind <laughs> of where that comes from. Because I don't really like bullying back, but I'll, I'll I'll say something sneaky and sly back. So yeah. I don't know if you want an actual personal example, but... No, no, that was great, because, uh, I don't know, like, even even bullying in text form is, is still bullying, you know? Yep. Well, um, it, it really is. I think people need to watch how they say things. They don't realize the impact they have over the computer. Uh, over a year ago, almost two years ago, um, my mom passed away, and I'm playing a game with my brother, and I was just recently retired out of the military, and I was just starting out this game. I was brand new. And I was playing with him, and he was level 30. And we're playing, and this guy on the other team just starts raging. And he didn't know that me and my brother were in the same game, but he was talking to me. And he just, like, kept raging at me. I was like, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then he was like, I hope your mom just goes and kills herself. Uh, I hope she dies. And uh, that was probably the, the one time over the computer I think I've ever been upset over what somebody said. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. you just, you never know. You don't know the other person on the other side. And it's kind of like, I believe in karma. So why would I ever talk like that to somebody else? Right. If mm -hmm. I don't want to be talked to that way. Exactly. And uh, why, uh, we're going to ask, every, we ask everybody this, but <laughs> why is Awinia your screen name? <laughs> Um, honestly, there, there's no funny story behind it. When I played World of Warcraft, um, on several servers, I was known by a couple different names. Like, one, like, you know, I had, like, the same names throughout the servers, but, like, I'd log on, and as soon as I log on, Trey would be like, oh, hi, Wilhelmina, yada, 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 or hi, Ailey, whatever. And, um, you just kind of get, I got fed up with it. Like, I played World of Warcraft for several years, and everybody kind of knew me, and I was just like, I want a fresh start. So I was sitting there and I was trying to come up with a name. And my friend was like, you know, it'd be pretty a win. And I was like, you know, it'd be better at an I and an A, a Winnie. And so uh, <laughs> that's just kind of how it came about. I like it. Or I... like my favorite that I've ever came up with is cupcake your face. Oh, yeah. I, I was in that, I was in that, uh, <laughs> I was in that three, <laughs> that three team <laughs> for a bit. <laughs> I love the street I, team that I'm hearing about. Uh, nothing. I'm not in it anymore. <laughs> but <laughs> um, we're almost gold. We're almost gold. <laughs> maybe you should add me again. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they, they they might they might end up because with work and everything, we're all like not doing too oh, much. Oh goodness. With it. Oh goodness. No, I'm I'm almost. I'm almost silver. Oh, it makes me so sad. But anyway, uh, <laughs> um, on to your professional life. I mean, a bunch of people, everyone that I know knows you as a Winnie and the fact that you started League of Girls. So can you tell us about that a little bit? Uh, actually, League of Girls probably just turned a year. It's just a little over a year now. So confetti. Woo! Happy year. <laughs> um I was in this other community, I'm not going to name it, but um, I, when I started playing League of Legends, I didn't know anybody. Like, I just happened to kind of get pushed into it, and I didn't know anybody, and I kind of wanted to play with people. And so I went searching, and I found this community that supposedly had this big group of girls. And so I'm sitting there, and I'm getting to know the girls, and some of the girls were great. 
But after a while, guys really started to come on. They started to come on really strong. And a lot of them were like, oh, well, you know, I'll boost your account to gold or whatever. And I'm like, I don't want that. And they kept asking, kept asking. And I'm like, no. And uh, proof that I've never done it, I'm silver. And I don't do right. <laughs> Solo cute. I, don't, I barely don't do that. Um, and so I just got sick of it. I got fed up one night and a little bit of alcohol too. And I was like, you know, what? I'm going to start League of Girls. And it was probably like one of the worst things I could choose. But I was like, League of Girls, <laughs> not a ripoff of League of Legends. Mm -hmm. And uh, today we're over 600 members, both uh, guys and girls. Oop, I'm a proud member. Yeah. Which I, I need to kind of, I got to apologize to anybody in the community that is watching this. I haven't been around much because I've got a job. Uh, some other things happened and kind of here and kind of there. And I'm starting, like I went on today and I started changing some things around. I'm going to start being around more. I'm going to make a big, long post about a lot of things and a big apology for not being around. But if you haven't checked it out, go check it out, leagueofgirls.com. So... Uh, on the subject, I mean, I, I and being part of it, so I think that, like, I don't know, I have inside info, but like, uh, uh, was it a huge deal to you to keep the the girls and the guys kind of? I mean, we obviously mingle, uh, but there is a distinction and a separation there. What was your reasoning for that? When I originally made League of Girls, I made it a place for girls to go hang out and meet other girls. Because, let's face it, you, let's take League of Legends. One out of every ten people, you have a chance of it being a girl. You Not don't it. really ever know over the computer. So you don't ever really get a chance to meet other like people who have the same interest. It wasn't really a segregation type thing. It was just a, hey, I'm a girl and I like to play. And as much as I love playing with the guys, and I normally do play with the guys, sometimes it's nice to hang out with, with the girls. Mm -hmm. And I don't really go and do, like, girls' night physically, so I thought it would be kind of cool. <laughs> and after a while and after a few angry Reddit <laughs> threads, <laughs> and uh, I was like, okay, you know what? People kind of want it. I want to listen to the people in my community. I'll let guys in. And it's kind of separated just for the sheer fact that the community was meant Four girls. So I kind of want to honor that in a sense, but it's sort of still about the girls. The guys come in, they hang out, they play, they chill. And as long as they're chill and they're not do harassing or anything like that, I don't mind. I'm, I'm well, like, I'm happy that they're there and they're contributing and being a part of the community. Um, plus, it's kind of just fun to be like, haha, you're a guy, you don't have the power. <laughs> uh and can you, I know how, but obviously not everybody does. Uh, what's the process like of getting, uh, being a member of League of Girls, both for guys and girls? Well, you go over to www.leagueofgirls.com. And over at the top it says application. And uh, it should be a drop down menu. And it should say girls application and boys application. And here's a big hit. because Some people don't get this right. If you don't have boobs, you go to mail. Uh, that's how that works. <laughs> well, let's say legit boobs. If you don't have legit boobs, you, you go to mail and uh, you fill out which one is applicable to you. And, uh, and you know, uh, there's several great people on there who will get you quickly approved and into the community. It doesn't take long at all. No, it really doesn't. Uh, I was surprised. <laughs> I expected it to be some lengthy thing and, and it was like, no, yeah, nope, nope. Welcome to the community. I was like, sweet, this is awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And one of the questions I personally had for you, because we're both girl gamers, and there's a lot, there's a lot of controversy around that whole thing. Um, and I think me and you even were talking about like maybe doing a podcast or talking about it for at length. But uh, I mean, why do you think that it's? Why do you think we're treated differently? I think it's because guys have no place to go now and do something. I think gaming was their one little haven of we don't have the female gender around us. And guess what? When the generations start getting a little bit older, like my parents were gamers, I grew up gaming, 
all of these people are starting to grow up. And with that is both guys and girls. So I think for so long, it was like girls kind of played. But I mean, if you look back in the 60s and 70s and 80s, you had females that were more that the actual typical female role. And nowadays, it's just it's changing. It's completely different. Our society is just not what it was back then when video games started becoming big and started coming out so that stigma still kind of carries and i think it will kind of always be there i ignore it and i think if you're a female you should just ignore it um but i think that's really just where it kind of stems from and i just kind of just say get over it because it doesn't really matter and like if uh gary was still here because we were talking about this the other night and he was just like, I was like, I wish guys would shut up. Because if you can find a girl that plays video games, you're the <laughs> luckiest guy in the world. You really are. So I mean, that's that's my answer to that. Get off that game now. <laughs> it's kind of funny. He tells me more to get off the computer than, than I tell him. Which is pretty bad. Right? I have that problem too. <laughs> I was like, hey, babe, come to bed. And I'm like. No, you don't understand. I'm I'm almost to my promotion game. Um, <laughs> that's that's where I'm at right now. Um, oh, it's and, like Mondays and Tuesdays. He'll start to make plans, and I'm like, I I can't, babe. I have my rank team. I can't. I can't let my guys down. And he's just like, I guess I'll go play Far Cry. <laughs> yeah. And um, besides League of Girls, is there anything else that you're currently working on? Uh, I help out with Rise of Game Rise of Gaming well, when I can, <laughs> but I mean that's kind of the obvious. Though I kind of feel bad because I haven't really been doing much, <laughs> and it's just like for the longest time I was in this, I was in that, I was casting, I was doing this, and and uh, the only big thing that I can say for certain that I'm trying to get back together is another Judgment League of Girls tournament. Um, other than that, I want to get back into doing other things. So if people need help or ideas or whatever, hit me up. I'm around. I'm trying to be around. Uh, <laughs> other than that, I mean, that's really the big thing that's on my plate right now. Cool. Well, I'm I'm still excited to see you around more now, actually, because I've missed you. I, I, <laughs> I miss you too. I miss you too. When I finally logged back in, we were like, "Where have you been?" Because <laughs> usually I'm always on and. Just where have you been? And I'm like, Whitney got a job. <laughs> Real life so. happens. Real life happens. Yeah. And then I kind of had to move out and moved in with Gary and had to get set up here. And as much as I try to be around more, the internet really sucks. Don't get Verizon internet. I thought Comcast was bad. Oh, AT&T right now. That's all I've got to say. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, if I had a Verizon, I'd go with Fios. But right now, I'm just like wishing I could be back in the other house and have my Comcast internet that actually worked where I could stream. I can't even stream anymore. Oh. Uh, and if you wouldn't mind telling people, uh, I don't know if you're in our chat room, but if you could tell them where they could find you on Twitter, on Facebook, all those good places so they can follow you and say hi Okay, well, let, let me load it up here because uh, I have Skype on and my video on, so it's kind of hating me. But here is my Twitter, and I also do have a Facebook page. I have a Facebook page, which today I hit 40 likes. And yes, the Facebook page was a joke from a long time ago. Somebody was just like, I want to say it was Drew. Maybe it wasn't Drew. That was just like, oh, you should just set up a page. And I don't think it was me. Oh, it wasn't you. Well, so, somebody did, and then people just kept liking it, so I was kind of like, well, I guess I should just start posting on here a bit more. So, but Sweet. that's uh, that's mainly me. So the, those two places are where you can easily reach and access me. I always try to write back and talk with people. I love talking with new people, so. There you go. Well, I enjoyed having you on here. Um, we will get to to Mr. Looking for Group Pro Enzio uh, <laughs> shortly. Um, any last parting thoughts, Whitney? I want to say thank you, Gina, Andrew, for having me on. <laughs> I want to say hi to Rev if he just happens to be watching. I love everybody in Rise Up community. I love everybody in League of Girls. All my other friends who could be watching. Hi. 
and um that's about it considering i hate talking so all right well, thank you i love y'all and cupcakes yeah okay. cupcake your face <laughs> 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 All right. And All right. Bye. 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 There we go. Unmute your mic. In fact, I oh. think there I you go. want to restart the call real quick. Why? Oh, what's going on? His uh, video is just not, not how it was earlier. Oh, is it bad? Yeah. Uh, just on. put your thing yeah. up real quick and call back. I'll close the stream. Here we go. Any better? Maybe. Uh, no, let me get back, okay? Oh, All okay. All right, sounds good. Here we go. Hello. Hey. Maybe. Oh, now right. Whitney's not Terrible. there. I have to reset everything. I'm sorry. Oh, it's, it's everything. Oh, yeah. Well. Oh. All right, well, I'll fix it while we're talking. Uh, if you want to go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay, uh, I'm Papa Cthulhu. Um, I founded LFGPro.com. Um, I've been an administrator in several communities. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. Um, my name is Tom, also. Um, kind of weird coincidence, but. I'll get into that later. <laughs> Tom, and you're starting a social media website. Okay. Uh yeah, I know. <laughs> and you were my first friend. Pretty soon I'm going to be everybody's first friend. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to finish that plugin, yeah. Cool. Oh, God. oh Andrew, you're going to have to start talking because my... Mm, okay, not sure. good. Uh, all right. Um... So, uh, as we were asking uh, Whitney, uh, what, uh, ga uh, what's your favorite type of uh, game or genre? Oh, my God. All right. Um, I need to split this one up into two because we've got, like, I play just about everything. Um, probably my favorite genre of all time is, like, uh, third-person shooter. Maybe not first so much, just third, just, I, I don't know what it is, but I just go crazy over them. And then... You know, close second, probably the old school RPG. Yeah. Cool, cool. So, uh, favorite game uh, of all time? Legend of Dragoon. Nice. I got that. Easily. I got that uh, to play on the PSP. I played it a little bit. I still haven't beat it yet, though. Still I mean, Fantasy Seven, but like, oh man, like the game is. I should have. I should have. Uh, had this ready, but I don't know where disc one is, but yeah. <laughs> nice, yeah, I still have my uh, I don't have many, but I, I still have Breath of Fire 3, uh, Digimon World 2 and 3, still so those are the only remaining PS1 games I have oh wow, I, I've got all my old ones still I mean, you get your Wild Arms FF7, you know, just all the RPGs from that era were just, they, it was insane I can't believe how much time I spent playing this game. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how long have you been a gamer? Um, I mean, since I was old enough to hold a controller. Uh, I started out way early. Um, I think my first game was Ninja Gaiden, like, on the, uh, the Nintendo. And then Solstice, and, like, I just, I could keep going, but, yeah. Awesome. And how do you stay so positive in the negative gaming atmosphere? Well, uh, well, I think most of it just I'm playing video games, and that's how I've always been able to like, cope with situations. Um, I used to lead a, a a WoW guild, who some of the people in the call or in the in the stream watching may may have been in it. We were called uh, not lazy anymore, <laughs> and one of our huge things was um, each raid, regardless of how it was going, we were so successful with our raids because we started things out on a positive note. We realized from the beginning that, you know, once things start going sour, you know, if you're not having fun, even if like, you know, something goes wrong, things just go, it's terrible. So being a leader, like what I've always had to do is even if 
I'm, I'm not doing so great. Um, I just kind of maybe lie to myself a little bit and uh, pretend like the day is the best day I've ever had. That's solid. Yeah. Didn't expect that answer, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, have you ever had to deal with uh, your real life friends being toxic in video games? Um, no, not really. Uh, there were a few situations maybe online um, where I've had to ban some people from a Minecraft server that were my friends, um, but that just kind of comes with the, uh, you know, the territory. playing any game. Yeah. 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 Were they griefing? So I had, uh, no, it was just uh, glitches. I think ah. they were abusing that, and I had to ban them for it. But aside okay. from that, I really haven't experienced that before. Cool. And um, obviously, uh, you're starting up a new community of your own. So how do you plan to? I mean, how do you stay so positive, and how do you uh, plan to continue that on throughout your social media? Um, well, I wouldn't even call it a community. Uh, well, kind of. It, it falls under that, but uh, it's a social network. Um, so we're inviting all communities to come along. And um, if I don't stay positive and on task, and if the people that I work with don't do that, then everything falls apart. And it's extremely important for us to stay on top of that. We don't have an option. I think that's pretty much what it comes down to. Cool. I mean, I mean that makes sense. Um, do you believe really putting those, I mean, those positive, that good mojo out there uh, actually has a, a way and, and is going to impact and change the community? Yeah. I mean, you could say it's viral, you know, like if you go and smile at someone, they'll smile back. Um, we're trying to do that maybe with, um, uh, obviously with everybody, but we're trying to focus on for, for the moment while we're in beta on the, uh, the community leaders that we have working with us, um, helping out in any way that we can. Our whole team is pretty much at their disposal. Nice. Yeah. Oh, uh, bear with me. I am, like, my throat is killing me. Um, <laughs> um, if you could pick one game that you think everybody should play, what, what game do you think that should be? <laughs> uh, <laughs> probably uh, Res for the PS2. It sold, like, maybe a million copies. It's kind of unknown. But um, when I played it when I was younger... I knew that's what I wanted to do with the rest of my life, was work in video games. It didn't matter how, just something. Um, I mean, the whole game, it's, it's based on like a, a, a system that's aware, is questioning, questioning whether or not it, it exists and, you know, it's got its own viruses. And you, ha you go in as a, you're a hacker and um, you, you have to eliminate the bugs. But as you're doing so, like the impact that it had on me when I was a kid, like, you're creating, like, it creates the music for the level that you're on as you're destroying things, you're floating around, things like that. Uh, the game was incredible. I'm surprised it didn't do better. I mean, only up until recently, they just came out with, like, Res HD and uh, Child of Eden uh, for the Kinect, and it just kind of blew my mind entirely. I think everybody should get into it. I've, I, I don't think I've ever played a game like that, so... That sounds I awesome. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I've heard of it either. And I, I yeah, it's, it's pretty culty. It's, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll have to get it. Uh, I, well, first I have to get my, my, my game, my console back from my mother. Anyway, uh, <laughs> introducing your parents to video games 101. Start with old console <laughs> games. That's all I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, have you ever been bullied yeah, um, like a, a Winnie said earlier, um, I think everybody's experienced a little bit of it in their lives. How did Even you deal with? How do you deal with it? Uh, I mean, I just kind of anybody who's bullying you, you know, th that's not something that you need in your life. So I tried to as as I could, and uh, now I I just kind of I play video games. <laughs> so whether or not it's in real life or you know, in game, I, I saw this thing, I got to quote it, I'm not sure exactly who said it first, but say somebody's picking on you for being a gamer, like, you're not a gamer because, uh, you know, you don't have a life, it's, you're a gamer because you choose to have many, it's incredible, so yes. you got to remember that each time, and, uh, yeah. Awesome. Uh, and why is your, why, bleh, um, 
Ugh. What one did of those you days. your screen name? Why did I choose my screen name? Um, it, it goes much more in depth into this, but I don't think we really have time for it. Uh, the the uh, shorter story is that uh, I'm a huge fan of Lovecraft. And uh, I had a World of Warcraft screen name, uh, Papa Moon, so I just kind of put them together. And, uh, yeah, Papa Cthulhu. I'm able to identify anyone else who's a, a Lovecraft fan. And, you know, just people take a second, they're like, oh, Papa, I'm not sure if I should use that, but uh, I'll call you Cthulhu. I'm like, sweet. <laughs> I can see you're going crazy already. <laughs> so, Yeah. Doc is going crazy. That's pretty much the story. He is a Lovecraft fan as well. Yeah. And uh, switching gears, let's talk about of G Pro. Uh, all right. You want to talk about uh, you know how that all got started for you? Um, every, it really started for me um, around 2011 when uh, I was living living with a group of friends of mine, uh, and we thought you know there are no real social networks out there for nerds. That's pretty much how it started out. We had a domain, uh, nerdatlas.com, which I've let expire. Um, I've been working on the concept for a couple years, and then just recently I decided to go live with it under a whole new you know, uh, iteration of the idea, um, where we focus on gamers, because that's really what we are. We know the most about it. And, or, well, you know, that's, that's what we try to, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much it. So, uh, you you started the basic like concept for it in 2011, and when did you? Wh what exact date did you guys go live with LFG Pro? Uh, this this recent beta. Mm, I'm not sure what the exact date was, but it was probably actually a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago, because I I know yeah. I joined uh, last week or I think. Uh, I believe it was yeah. last week. I want to say it was sometime around the 15th of last month. Yeah. Um. And what do you think that, I mean, what are your aspirations? What are you guys doing different than the other social media that's already out there? Ooh, yeah, that, that's uh, something that we try to work on every day. Um, you have, you know, Facebook, MySpace, Twitter even. Um, and they have, you, you have the ability to create events and groups, things like that. But I don't see any of those really catering to gamer culture. They kind of do, but in a very vague way. Like, um, it's, it's upon the user in those networks to uh, go out and find these things and post them up. But uh, in, in LFG Pro, you know, we want the communities to come to us, tell us what, uh, you know, tell us the staff, you know, what, what do they have going on? And we can give that to everybody. So, you know, rather than gaming as a whole being um, a fractured, you know, group of nodes of people who game, we want... We want it to actually be the gaming community right now. I, I don't see that when I look at it. Cool. It's just kind of like a Band-Aid. <laughs> or, yeah. And, uh, I mean, what are your, I mean, obviously you guys have the beta going on right now. What other features do you plan to add in the future? Okay. Um, we're going to put in a tournament. We're going to work with the uh, challenge API, which we decided to do. Uh, so we'll have the ability to, uh, you know, host your own tournaments, things like that, in a in a very MLG fragmentation kind of way, but um, more specialized for community v community stuff, um, or any real weird out of the box stuff that kind of maybe maybe. Ooh, this is something that I really like to set up is have um, developers from different companies, you know, duke it out in all these new games. Kind that would be funny. Getting that, together. that would um, be cool. Yeah, we're going to have regular uh, beta key giveaways, which I've got three for you guys today. Um, I'm going to let the, uh, the hosts of this, you guys, uh, decide who gets uh, one of three keys for uh, uh, Sins of a Dark Age. Um, which is awesome. And then, yes, I love this game. It sucks that I can't talk more about that game because it's heavy NDA. Have, yeah, it um, it was it was lengthy, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then one of the other features that I'd like to talk about is just kind of um, we want to, you know, create a wish list.
for for gaming communities, right? So you go and create a profile, and you you tell the system, this is what I'm looking for. These are games that I play, and then you know on your